This is incredible. We just multiplied the number of technologically viable materials known to humanity. Google's genome just discovered 2.2 million new materials, with 380,000 of them being the most stable, making them promising candidates for future experimental synthesis. Without this tool, humanity would have taken an astonishing 800 years to achieve the same feat. Today, we'll be taking a look at Google's new AI tool, its impact for the future in enabling new technologies, and how it is using deep learning to discover millions of new materials at an unprecedented rate. But before we start digging deep, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel because we strive hard to bring the latest and greatest from the world of AI. Let's begin. The DeepMind team in their paper introduced a novel deep learning tool named Graph Networks for Materials Exploration, or Genome. This tool has the potential to revolutionize the speed and efficiency of discovering novel materials by predicting their stability. The researchers, through the usage of genome, found themselves effectively increasing the number of technologically viable materials known to humanity. Well, let's articulate this differently. Everyone wants more affordable yet superior graphics processing units. The aspiration extends to achieving a net zero electricity bill, indulging in the luxurious touch of premium materials, and although not universally embraced, accelerating the widespread adoption of electric cars. Despite the intensity of these desires, the realization of these ideals remains elusive. Typically, discovering new materials is a challenging and time-consuming task. Scientists invest years in experimenting with various elements, attempting to find the optimal combination with the desired properties. Even if they stumble upon a successful material, they may not fully grasp the reason behind its effectiveness or how to enhance it further. What makes this formidable is the fact that among its 2.2 million predictions, 380,000 are identified as stable materials, representing promising candidates for experimental synthesis. But what are stable materials? These are substances that maintain their physical and chemical properties over time, resisting degradation or decomposition under various conditions. These newfound materials include substances with the potential to drive future transformative technologies, such as superconductors for powering supercomputers and advanced batteries to enhance the efficiency of electric vehicles. Now let us establish here that Google's DeepMind is not only working on materials. Different functionalities of this research facility are often confused. The two most renowned ones are Genome and AlphaFold. It is true that both use deep learning, but here's the difference. AlphaFold works on predicting protein shapes crucial for life, made of amino acids that fold in complex ways. Genome, on the other hand, predicts material structures. It focuses on how atoms, the building blocks of materials, and how they come together to form various crystal shapes. But before we start digging into Genome again, it's crucial to note that Google DeepMind has introduced a novel tool known as AlphaMessence. This tool is designed to forecast the potential adverse effects of genetic mutations. The primary purpose of this tool is to identify missense mutations where a single letter is misspelled in a DNA code and assess whether they are likely to cause diseases. The project, led by DeepMind engineers Jun Chang and Ziga Avzik, has resulted in the public release of predictions for 71 million possible variants. DeepMind has made notable achievements in enhancing the next version of AlphaFold. This model predicts the 3D structure of various biological molecules such as proteins, nucleic acids, and ligands. All these developments may originate to keep pace with Moore's Law. For those unfamiliar with the concept, Moore's Law is a phenomenon that posits the doubling of semiconductor power every successive year, and the failure to align with this trajectory is seen as a stumbling block in the advancement of artificial intelligence. Many experts think that we have already exhausted silicone's ability, but some still believe that there is much more that can be achieved from sand. New materials are being explored to keep up with Moore's Law, but research is also going on to find ways to etch more complex circuits on existing silicone-based wafers. A method to grow 2D materials, including 2D crystals, on an existing silicone wafer has been developed by researchers at MIT. This advancement could aid in the production of smaller transistors, necessary for sustaining the trajectory outlined by Moore's Law. A new generation of devices employing 3D packaging techniques is demonstrating notable improvements in power density, providing an alternative avenue for keeping pace with Moore's Law. 
Now this whole genome project is all about new materials, and this AI itself paves the way for the future developments in the field. Independent researchers in laboratories worldwide have experimentally created 736 of these new materials in concurrent work. In partnership with Google DeepMind, a group of scientists from the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory released a second paper demonstrating the application of AI predictions in the autonomous synthesis of materials. DeepMind's current plan is to ensure that 380,000 materials that have been predicted to be stable are stable in reality as well. The researchers anticipate that these resources will propel further research into inorganic crystals and unlock the potential of machine learning tools as valuable guides for experimental directions. In the past, scientists had embarked on the quest for novel crystal structures by manipulating known crystals and engaging in experiments with fresh combinations of elements. This process, however, characterized by its expense and reliance on trial and error, often stretched over years before yielding even limited results. Over the last decade, computational methodologies used by Materials Project and various other research groups played a pivotal role in the discovery of 28,000 new materials. Yes, AI is a powerful tool, and it has shown a lot of promise, but still, AI-guided approaches often encounter a fundamental limitation in accurately predicting materials with experimental viability. Materials similar to graphene have also been discovered thanks to this AI tool. In totality, there are 52,000 such materials. If we tell how many materials we knew before this experimentation, it will render many bamboozled. Only 1,000. Not only that, the exploration revealed 528 potential lithium-ion conductors, a staggering 25 times more than earlier studies. This gave a new motivation to the ongoing search for solid electrolytes that could replace the liquid electrolytes found in lithium-ion batteries. But since we're talking about batteries, we cannot make use of anything volatile. As a prerequisite, these electrolytes have to be extremely stable, should have specific conduction properties while being non-toxic and non-radioactive. Wondering how this magical new AI works? Well, let's find out. Genome utilizes two distinct pipelines for identifying stable materials with low energy. The structural pipeline generates candidates by aligning with known crystal structures, while the computational pipeline takes a more randomized approach based on chemical formulas. Results from both pipelines undergo evaluation through density functional theory calculations, contributing to the genome database and guiding subsequent rounds of active learning. As an advanced graph neural network, Genome processes input data in the form of a graph representing atomic connections. Initially, Genome was trained using openly available data from the Materials Project, encompassing structures and stability information. The model was then applied to generate novel crystal candidates and predict their stability. Through progressive training cycles, the predictive capability of genome was assessed using established density functional theory calculations commonly used in physics, chemistry, and material science to comprehend atomic structures crucial for evaluating crystal stability. Active learning played a major role in enhancing genome's performance. The model generated predictions for novel stable crystal structures, validated using density functional theory. The resultant high-quality training data was incorporated into the model's training process. This research significantly elevated the material stability prediction rate, progressing from approximately 50% to 80% based on matte bench discovery, an external benchmark set by prior state-of-the-art models. Furthermore, the model achieved a substantial efficiency boost by increasing the discovery rate from under 10% to over 80%, potentially reducing the computational resources required for each discovery. So will this increase the chance of acquisition, or is it bad news for material science companies? Only time can tell. Subscribe to AI Symbiosis because here we try our best to bring the latest and greatest from the world of AI. We have seen materials, we have seen robots, we have seen purpose-specific chatbots, we have seen generative AIs, but what about general artificial intelligence? Well, maybe that was the reason why Sam Altman was fired. We simply cannot claim to be sure, but still, he was working on something super powerful. It's called the Project Q-Star. To find out what it is, click on the video links popping up.